welcome back to this wonderful world of Pokemon. If there's any of you just joining in, my name is Professor Tim Burr, and I'm here to make sure you're up to date on what's happened in this crazy world where Pokemon have been mentally changed to speak and think like us humans do. Now, last time our adventurers befriended a Tauros boy, or rather a Melting depending on what part of the region you hail from, Baron Von Baron met the group and found they had similar goals, both seeking to find and rescue those kidnapped by the human usurping group. Oh, I could use a hug. Anyway, they then teamed up and began fighting their way through the Fey Forest in search of the legendary Pokemon they were told resided there. Sephira would later catch up to them, while they were busy kicking, punting, and chasing various squobits. What a time! After getting a not really answer as to why this was all occurring, she revealed that our Miltank boy may not be a Miltank boy at all. She thinks that he is more than likely a bounty hunter from Team Rage Shadow a legendary mobile and freedom battle group of trainers and scientists owned by the government. Seems also that Champion Sephira is involved with this group as well. But to what degree, I wonder? Hmm. Only time will tell. Meanwhile, our illustrious President Jeff Origin made his address in response to the human usurping group's threats. It seems his position on the matter has... Not really changed. He still wishes to see all these Pokemon who were mentally evolved to return back to normal. He did say, however, that he is willing to negotiate for the hostages, so at least he has something resembling a heart, just not a very big one. But anyway, that's enough politics. Our trainers are about to encounter their first legendary, I believe. Now, if they can handle this one, Hopefully, they can handle 